Ladies and gentlemen, it's been barely 72 hours since Arvind Kejriwal walked out on jail on interim bail. But the Delhi Chief Minister is already embroiled in what could perhaps turn out to be the scandal of the season, something that damages his reputation the most. Did he actually order an assault on his own party MP and a woman who was once the chief of the State Commission of Women? In a sensational development, the Delhi police today has claimed that they had received a call from Rajya Sabha AAP MP Swati Maliwal claiming that she had been assaulted by Vibhav Kumar, who is the PA of the Delhi chief minister, at the CM's behest, at the CM's residence. Now, while the opposition has been quick to dub this the Arvind Assault Party, AAP, most intriguingly, Swati Maliwal has refused to confirm or deny this very damaging report, leaving a shroud of confusion over what has actually happened. Here is what we know, however. The Delhi police version of the full sequence of events. At 9.10 a.m. today, Maliwal reportedly reached Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's residence and sought an appointment with him, but was denied so by his personal staff. Then, at 10.31 a.m., Maliwal calls the Delhi police control room, a call which got transferred to the north control room at 9.34 a.m. The initial log in the call record stated that the chief minister badly beat up his own PA. Five minutes later, this was corrected to the chief minister got the PA to badly beat up Swati Maliwal. Shortly after this, a police team reached the chief minister's residence at civil lines only to find Swati Maliwal waiting outside. She was persuaded to come to the police station where she spent a short while, but left without filing a complaint. She said she would come and do that later. She still hasn't showed up. Now, there is one obvious hole in the Delhi police's sequence of events, which is the massive pivot in the nature of complaint from five minutes. From Chief Minister ne apne PA Vibhav Kumar ke saath buri tara mar pitai ki hai at 9.34 a.m., the call record was changed to CM ne apne PA Vibhav Kumar se buri tara pitai ki hai at 9.39 a.m. Now, this is a seismic deviation. Was the change in Delhi police's records from the CM hit PA to hit by PA at CM's behest just a simple correction or something more sinister? We don't know. For that matter, why has Swati Maliwal neither confirmed nor denied the claims made by the Delhi police? And why has the Ahmadmi party itself maintained radio silence over the allegations of its own MP being assaulted by its own chief minister? The mystery continues. The silence is only deepening because... Well, the scandal is out there for all of us to see. Let me try and go straight across to Priyank, who's been the one who's been tracking this very curious story since morning. Priyank, where is Swati Maliwal? If she was assaulted, why is she not filing a complaint? I mean, she has made that call to the police. She has gone to the police station, but she has not launched a formal complaint, which means that at this point of time, even the Delhi police can't do anything. Yes, certainly, Shreya, that's the biggest question because we have been trying to get in touch with Swati Maliwal, who has been so much vocal about right of uh, uh, women here in the country. But uh, when it comes to her own right, uh, she is uh, not responding to any call, any messages, or any WhatsApp call which has been made by the Times Network. On the other side, uh, certainly, it's a matter which is related to her political career. As we know that uh, all those people who stood against Sajan Kejwal, uh, starting from the inception of India against corruption, be it uh, Anna Hazare, uh, Kiran Bedi, Prashant Bhushan, Ashutosh, everyone was kicked out by Arvind Kejriwal's party uh, whenever the uh, formation happened. And every, anyone who stood in favor of Arvind Kejriwal could only for, uh, survive in this party. It's a known fact that she was given the biggest uh, uh, designation. She was made the DCW chief and now Amani party has made her member of parliament from their quota. Uh, but uh, so the rift has, has uh, clearly 
only come out in open, where the fight was not in between Arvind Kejwal and Fatima Aliwal, but one of the closest aides of Arvind Kejwal, Vibhav Kumar, uh, who is uh, considered to be the right-hand man of Arvind Kejwal and Swati Maliwal. Then certainly Swati Mal, uh, Maliwal uh, made a police call at around 9.31. This is what you uh, have already okay. said. But later to that, at around 9.39, she changed the statement. Mm. And uh, the statement was uh, that uh, Arvind mm. Kejwal, ke CM ke kehne pe, unke PS ne mein zhad maat peet ki. Uh, but uh, the buzz in the town is that uh, probably she was being told uh, to uh, withdraw from the uh, uh, seat of Raj Sabha. And it was supposed to be given to someone else. Uh, that could have been one of the reasons because of which uh, without uh, informing her, then Kejwal she reached to the residence and Kejwal did not want her to meet her. Interestingly, none of them uh, from the Amani party has also responded in this matter. Correct. All right, Priyank, I, I understand uh, the buzz that you're talking about. The buzz on social media is, and a lot of people are saying this, uh, that Swati Maliwal was upset because she was asked to vacate her Rajya Sabha seat uh, for a senior lawyer who's been fighting Mr. Arvind Kejriwal's cases. That is the rumor, but that is just a rumor. And the point is, if she was indeed beaten up, well, she did go to the police station. Was there a checkup? There was no checkup either. Uh, Priyank, so how do we even prove that she was beaten up or not? This, this, this is turning out to be a very strange and curious case. And what is deepening the mystery and the scandal is the silence around it. Priyank, we leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much. Of course, the BJP, as you can imagine, has got a handle to beat the Amadni party with. Let's listen in. Look, it's very important to see that the power of the आम आदमी पार्टी में सुरक्षित नहीं अगर डीसीएम की दिल्ली कमीशन फॉर वुमेन की अगर पूर्व अध्यक्ष अगर उसमें है और राज्यसभा की सांसद वो सुरक्षित नहीं मुख्यमंत्री के घर में तो प्रश्न ये उठता है पिटाई परिवार ने करवाई या पार्टी ने पीए ने की कि किसी और ने की अब ये सवाल खड़ा होता है कुछ लोग परिवार के भी राजनीति में आते आगे देखते हैं तो क्या है तनाव कि बढ़ता जाएगा जब वापस अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दो तारीख को जेल वापस जाएंगे साफ दिखता है कि आम आदमी पार्टी में सब कुछ ठीक नहीं है ओके करण वर्मा इज एन ऑथर ही इज जॉइनिंग अस ऑन द ब्रॉडकास्ट रवि श्रीवास्तव इज अ पॉलिटिकल एनालिस्ट ही इज जॉइनिंग अस ऑन द ब्रॉडकास्ट रवि श्रीवास्तव यू विल बी स्पीकिंग ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द आम आदमी पार्टी लुक द फैक्ट इज दैट दिस लेडी ऑन योर स्क्रीन्स स्वाति मालीवाल इज नो आम औरत she is someone who is completely aware of her rights. She is someone who is completely aware of procedure. She is someone who is completely aware of the fact that once you make, uh, you know, once you make a distress call to a police helpline, it has to be followed up by a complaint in the police station. As I said, she has been the chairperson of the DCW. She is aware of her rights. What happens? Is there any clarity on your in your head about what has happened? Because you certainly can't call this a BJP ki sazish. Uh, Shreya, good evening. Uh, first of all, <coughs> I, I definitely subscribe to your words only. The whole thing looks very, very mysterious. The first mm -hmm. issue is that when she did not get an uh. appointment, then why did she go to the house of the chief minister? One. Second, the call uh, calls mm -hmm. made, the statements made, all these two variations, they give a lot of suspicion that whether the story is correct or bogus. The third thing is that she came to the police mm -hmm. station. Or if it's a mm -hmm. medical legal case, then why she did not subject herself to the medical examination? Fourth, ultimate is that Correct. why did she Correct. not lodge a full uh, written complaint in the police station when she went over there? Was there any mark of any injury or was there any mm -hmm. mark of any assault or any such thing? Did the police witness it? I hear only a statement of Mr. Manoj uh, Meena the DCP, who says that, uh, yes, she came to the police station, she did not lodge any complaint, and she has gone home. So, I think it is mm. absolutely, you know, mm. ambiguous, shrouded in the mystery, and uh, the one uh, version is that she was misbehaved, the other version is assault. If, I, if we believe on social media, by tomorrow, something else will also happen. So, this, uh, such things, you know, uh, mm. are, you know, once this happens, that B okay. BJP only clutches upon it. And they, the Kali Ninda has already happened. I've seen mm. four or five Kali Nindas since morning. And Kali Nindas will continue. So the story has got no life because she has not made any formal complaint at all. And why should she go to his uh, Arvind Kejriwal's okay. home and all that? 
I think this is all shrouded in the mystery. But what do you mean the story has no life? No, what do you it mean, no, uh, Mr. Ravi Shrivastava, what do you mean by the story has no life? Look no, at the allegation not. that has been made. Again, I agree with you that a formal complaint has not been lodged, but she did make that call. The police has confirmed that it was her making that call. The police has also confirmed that it was her telephone number from where the call is made. So, I mean, she says that I was beaten up by the chief minister's PA at the chief minister's behest, and you're saying the story doesn't have any life. You remember Anshu Prakash, yeah. right? Delhi's chief are... secretary. It was the same allegation. It was the same and allegation that, that at the nothing... chief minister's residence only he was he was beaten up. And it was not proved. And it was not proved. It happened, but it has it was not proved because there uh -huh. was nothing happened like that. Probably he made up a story. This is what exactly hmm. happening here also. That okay. where is the evidence? This is one person's charge against another. I say, somebody came to my house, beat me up, please come, please come, uh, please control room comes there. So, this is one man's version against another. There should be something corroborated. This is mind-boggling. That really something okay. happened or not. Okay. Whether okay. the Vibhav Kumar But it is mind-boggling. But Mr. Shivastav. Yes, such things Mr. do happen. Uh, 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 Mr. Shivastav, uh, I'm fairly, fairly certain that you'll agree with me. Just, just a minute, Mr. Shivastav. I'm fairly certain you'll agree with me that this is mind-boggling that a Rajya Sabha MP from the Aam Aadmi Party will be cooking up stories against her own chief minister. This is a mind-boggling. Karan Verma, what do you make of it? No, no, Shreya, first of all, uh, the way so many AAP supporters since morning and Mr. Ravi is now a new person in this list, they've been dismissive of this. Outrightly dismissive. Mm. This has no legs. Kadi mm. Ninda has happened. Smirkingly, they say this and they try to trivialize this. This is a very serious matter. It, here is a woman who is saying that I have been assaulted. I mean, not saying, but at least this is the complaint that went. And now she is not speaking about it. Is she uh, in some sort of trauma? Is she under some sort of pressure? I am actually worried for her. I mean, leave the politics aside. There is nothing more sacrosanct than women's safety. And, you know, let's look at the uh, entire chronology and the entire way they've, this party, this party has always behaved like a kabila. You know, a pack of wolves coming together. What happened in 2018 when Anshu Prakash was assaulted? Just because that man could not prove it. I mean, nobody carries a live camera. Just because something isn't proven doesn't mean we just dismiss it and say, oh, everything was fine. Everything was hunky-dory. What happened in 2015 mm -hmm. when Prashant Bhushan and Shanti Bhushan and Shanti Bhushan, you must note, at that time he was 87 years old. He said, I was this close to being assaulted by a pack of goons let loose by Arvind Kejriwal. So this man has shown this tendency. What happened with Y.V. Raj Shekhar? After 13th May, when the Supreme Court said AAP has the control over services, his office was raided and he filed an FIR against unknown persons. And Saurabh Bhardwaj fired him the next day. So, mm. you know, there is a pattern here and we must not trivialize something related to women's safety like this. I am, I am extremely aghast at the way Mr. Ravi Srivastava has Karan. smirkingly said, oh, this has no life, this has no story. This better have life in the sense we must get to the root of it. We cannot be dismissive. We want to hear from Swati Malewal. We but want Karan to hear Varma. from Arvind Kejriwal what happened at his residence. But Karan Varma. Yeah. Sunye, Sunye, Karan Varma, here's the question. You know, I agree hmm. with your sentiment. Yeah. But what do you do if the person who alleges that she was beaten up at the chief minister's behest herself doesn't want to file a complaint? How do you get to the bottom of it? If you want to get to the bottom of it, you can very easily uh, get to the bottom of it. No. A, do a medical examination, saaf pata chal jata if someone has been beaten up or not, just a minute. Then this is the chief minister's residence that we are talking about. There'd be at least 500 CCTV cameras there. Some camera would have caught the assault. Correct. My point is, if it happened, it's easy to prove. But that will come into play Absolutely. only if the lady in question, who just, by the way, is a former DCW chief, wants to complain. She's not complaining. What can anyone do? Can I answer? You know, uh, Shreya, hmm. you know that perhaps better than me. And there are dozens of reports where there are cases of violence and assault where the victim is in a state of trauma or is under some sort of pressure from an influential person and they're not able to come out in the open with it. So let's not discount that. Let's not discount that. I am worried for her. What sort of mental state is she in? I mean, if she has been assaulted, she must be in a state of trauma.
and this secretary the secretary by the way he's also had a very checkered past okay he has been fired because of uh, in 2007 hmm. he did something similar to this so you know we must get to the bottom you you suggested two okay. ways for it the cctv footage this must be checked there should be a thorough probe into that ladies and gentlemen you know beyond a point i don't know what to say on this matter simply because there's an allegation that has been made but it has not been backed by an official complaint so we do not know what happened we haven't heard from the chief protagonist in this story either we haven't heard from uh, amadi party chief arvind kejriwal and we haven't heard from the lady who is making the allegation who just by the way is a rajya sabha mp from the amadmi party so we haven't heard from both the protagonists in the story all we have is an allegation made a call record and no complaints we'll see how the story ca carries forward tomorrow will swati maliwal step forward and file an official complaint or will she choose to remain silent we'll wait and watch for the moment karan verma thank you very much ravi shrivastav thank you very much for joining us as well on our top story ladies and gentlemen with that uh, we're stepping into a quick break on the show